You can see where they spent a billion. I reckon it probably cost a bit more than that. Go! Okay. Love that, Lenny. Thank you very much. Hey guys, I'm in North London today, outside one of the most incredible stadiums in the world. It is the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It costed £1 billion, pounds, opened in 2019, and has many world firsts, such as the world's first folding pitch, where it changes from a football pitch to an NFL football pitch. We're going to be taking a look around the ridiculous things in this stadium. Let's go. This is one of the giant NFL, American football changing rooms in the Tottenham Stadium. They do host NFL games here in London. Just this Saturday, it was the Tennessee Titans who played against the Ravens. I don't know much about NFL, but this is the changing room where the Tennessee Titans were in. You got all the branding from NFL, as you can see, all down to the smallest detail. You may as well be in America. The pitch is still an NFL pitch, which then folds over back into a football pitch, the only one in the world that does it. And now we're going to have a session with Ledley King behind me. Yes, that's right, Ledley King, the England international, former Tottenham Hotspur captain, defender, who was one of the best in the world when he was at his peak. Ledley kindly recorded a video message for my friend, what a gent and a legend. Love that, Ledley. Thank you very much. Time for the stadium tour. We were taken through the endless premium matchday hospitality lounges, which all looked super luxurious with epic views of the pitch, as well as some cool bars. They actually have the officially longest bar in Europe, as well as an in-house brewery to produce the 1 million pints per year served at match days. Some of the suites looked like private VIP. And then there's some more common premium match day and fine dining options, which cost from around 200 and 600 pounds per person. The architecture is just so incredible. I don't know where to look first. When was the last time you went on an escalator in a sports stadium? I mean, this place, it's not like an airport, it's not like a posh shopping centre. It's its own unique blend of modern, sport, character, loads of cool stuff going on. I don't know where to look first. And I've made it so that wherever you are in the stadium, you pretty much have got a good view outside into North London and beyond. Just look at this place, it's insane. You can see where they spent a billion I reckon it probably cost a bit more than that. Look at that screen. Mental. In the South Podium, where home fans pass through on their way to the South Stand, there's a five-storey atrium, as well as these humongous LED screens. Next to the screens is the Spurs trophy cabinet. No recent silverware to see, unfortunately. Jokes aside, Spurs do have their multiple FA Cups and league titles, Euro Cup Winners' Cup to UEFA Cups from their glory days on show here, with club legend and 1966 England manager hero Sir Alf Ramsey's England cap and World Cup replica. Also, a time capsule, which includes Germain Defoe's socks, is due to be opened in 2068. That's not where the nostalgia ends. Much of the flooring in the stadium was transferred from White Hart Lane. Now we're taken to the changing rooms through the player's entrance. These corridors are covered with more nods to the good old days. And then you look around this door to the warm-up area. With space-age fitness equipment and reinforced walls for players to kick a ball about, the actual changing room is insane. Every detail has been so well thought out. The non-slip floor, the horseshoe shape to focus players on the TV and manager Big Ange. There's these neon lights which double up as vents, pumping in the fresh air from the pitch into this changing room to help players acclimatize to weather. Now sneaking into the showers, a plunge pool for ice baths and five star spa level facilities. Finally walking through the tunnel onto the pitch. Let's see if the actual theatre of the Tottenham Stadium outside matches the incredible interior.
first observation is how close the seats are to the pitch, similar to recent stadiums such as the updated Bernabeu and Everton's new ground, who have also built very steep stands. But the unique football to NFL convertible pitch was the craziest feature to learn about. The Spurs football pitch is split into three huge trays that roll under the south stand to reveal the artificial NFL surface below. Spanning across the north stand roof is the yet to be opened sky bridge with epic views over the pitch. It's supported by the cable net roof of the stadium and connects the east and west stand hospitality areas. I spotted the new Spurs golden cockerel replica which the club made sure to include air rifle bullet dents famously caused by Gaza shooting at pigeons three decades ago. The four gigantic outdoor screens are 325 square meters each. They are the largest stadium screens in Western Europe. And I just couldn't resist a quick seat test in the home dugout. They are comfy, but I would expect that from a stadium like this. Just waiting for the massage to kick in. So to keep the acoustics and the crowd noise as loud as possible and as echoey as possible, they made some cool glass gadget halo that goes around the whole stadium. So I'm going to test it out now, see how loud it is. Goal! Wow. That's what one person there sounds like, shouting then. Dread to think what a normal match day is. Insane how much attention to detail has gone into this stadium. Those details are closely monitored by over 700 CCTV cameras and guarded by airport level security. On the way back to the corporate area we were being hosted at, we got a rare glimpse of the colossal stadium catering wing where a team of up to 230 chefs will work from on match days to cover the 8,500 hospitality meals. At this point, it's no surprise to learn that this 62-seater beast of a stadium is the first to have its own on-site bakery, being one of only two places in the UK to have a special water jet cutter used for pastry production to make the 15,000 pies chomped by fans annually. That's on top of the in-house brewery mentioned before for match day beers and coffee roasting facilities. And that caps off my visit to this incredible stadium. I mean, who gave Tottenham Hotspur the right to make a stadium that wasn't just made for football matches, also for American football matches? It must be the ultimate fan experience coming here. It's rare that fans of a football club are so positive about moving to a shiny new stadium from their old classic home. The reaction that I've seen from the Tottenham Hotspur fans to moving in this stadium has only been positive and I mean, can you blame them? They are absolutely spoiled. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you later.